rough landing, but at least we're here. Big's house should be right around this hedge. So excited she finally invited us over. I know. I can't wait to see Big's house. Wow. <gasps> Make that Big's castle. Hey, Polly, Lila, Shawnee. Big, this place is amazing. Yeah, but what's up with the party tent? I thought we were just hanging out. We are, but we're hanging out during a little shindig. Whoa, did you buy out every florist in Littleton? How many tears does that cake have? There's an ice sculpture of you! This is a little shindig? Little shindig? It's the Grand Bigowski Ball. Girls, this is my mom and dad. And I probably should have told you. <laughs> that you're secretly a princess? Princess? <laughs> Don't be silly. Bella's a duchess. Mom! Call me big or all my friends, remember? So, the Bogowski Ball is sort of a big deal. <laughs> I should say so. It's a coming-of-age tradition for our family. <laughs> and Grandmother Belladonna is coming all the way from the old country for the occasion. She'll be here any minute. Darling, we must go check on all the things. I'm so glad you could join us. Please, help yourselves to gowns from the ball closet. Uh, Big, why didn't you tell us about the party in your honor? I don't know. I guess I just wanted you to all treat it like a normal hangout day and not think about how everything has to be so fussy and perfect. Well, this ice sculpture sure looks perfectly like you. But I gotta be perfect and perfectly perform a bunch of very fussy, fancy tasks. There's a dinner where I gotta keep up with fancy people conversation and have proper table manners and know which fork goes with which of the million courses. And then at the end of the ball, if I've done everything perfect, Grandmother will give me the Bogowski tiara. Ooh. just not into frilly stuff. I wouldn't even know how to walk around with something like that tiara on my head. Ooh. Ah! Got it! Oh, see? Maybe I shouldn't even No try. way! You can't give up when there's a tiara on the line. I've read all the Princess Pineappoline books. I could help you be a proper princess. What? Technically a duchess. Oh. A duchess in a tiara? <laughs> Grandmother Belladonna Bogowski, our family's reigning matriarch and the lady I'm named after. Oh, is that a... Oh, oh dear. Can't have you tripping on that. Mother. Oh. <laughs> Lord Edward, Harry is uh, looking well. That's Sir Harry. Grandmother Belladonna! Bella, how tall you've gotten. Mm. Oh, and how strong. Let's get to work. There's a tiara on the line. And that's the difference between a snail fork and an oyster fork. There's a fork for everything. <laughs> Whatever you do, never eat anything with your hands. Any questions? Yeah. Do Princess Pineappoline books have any tips on memorizing things? It's the Bogowski Credo. I have to recite it tonight from memory, or it's bye bye Bogowski Tiara. Maybe you don't need to memorize the Credo to get the tiara. I can go micro and help you out. I can hang out in your ear and whisper all the stuff you need to say during the party. And Shawnee and I can be your hype girls. Huh. This could actually work. I just have to be totally not myself for the entire night. Everyone's looking at me. Yeah, they are. Because you're stunning. Remember to start from the outside in. Up first, salad fork. Okay, on your right is Cecilia Bogowski. She's your... Hey, I know you! Great Auntie Cece! Aunt Cecilia, whom I haven't seen for ages. I mean, Aunt Cecilia, whom I haven't seen for ages. <laughs> Big truly is an outstanding member of Littleton Middle School. Wow, apple pie for dessert. A, a Littleton classic. The traditional Bogowski apple tart. Let me ah, get my pastry fork. The traditional fork. Bogowski apple tart. Let me get my pastry fork. To the right, right. To the right, right? No, don't repeat. No, don't repeat. Uh. <laughs> Woohoo! We should get the credo ceremony started shortly. But first, I need to powder my nose. And perhaps young Bella could use a freshen up as well. 
Young Bella, our girl of the hour. Do you need to powder your nose? Huh? Oh, I know this. Powder your nose is just fancy talk for using the restroom. Ah, nah, thanks. I made the bladder flatter before dinner. Bladder flatter? <laughs> I think it's just a little bit colloquialism, Edward. How about some actual powder, dear, on your nose? Phew, you're finally gone. I thought the jig was up. Bad news, the credo slipped out of my hands and it's on Lord Edward's shoe! Uh-oh. Can't exactly pull it off there without him noticing. And I'm supposed to recite it after the next song. Okay, I can get it. Be right back. I'm hitching a ride on your empty glass. Big darling, after dinner mint? Uh, sure. Just let me get my, uh, mint fork. Uh... Oh. Whoops. Sorry. You have a little fork right in your, uh... Don't worry. I got it. <laughs> Whoa. Really up in there, huh? <laughs> gotcha! Now to get you back to bed before the end of the song. Sir Harry? Aw, you just want some snuggles. Who's a good kitty? <laughs> I know. I'll fish it out with my fish fork. <laughs> Lost another one. Young Bella's a bit rough and tumble, isn't she? Indeed. Always saying or doing the wrong thing. I never thought I would be passing my tiara to someone so much like me. What? Those rough edges, never sure just how to stand, saying whatever comes to mind. Well, it all reminds me of me at her age. Oh, I hope this life doesn't turn Bella into someone she's not. Wow. Sir Harry, could you give me a ride? I gotta get back to Big. <coughs> Tiny power! Hey, off to board for the win! Thank you, darling. Now, I should get into position for the Credo recitation. Hey, Big! Holly, oh, you got the credo? No, I mean, yes, but you shouldn't try to be someone you're not. You should be yourself. But if I don't recite it now, I won't get the tiara. Who cares about some silly tiara? Just because I like tiaras doesn't mean you have to. I like you for you, and I think Grandmother Belladonna does too. But she barely knows anything about the real me. Then let her meet the real you. Hmm. Ready, young Bella? Uh, <sighs> no. And I'll never be. I'm terrible at all this stuff. The fancy talk, the fancy dress, and especially not the fancy credo. Have I let you down? Oh, heavens no! You remind me of my younger self. You weren't always so fancy? When I was your age, I would have rather been playing sports than going to a ball. You don't have to change for me to like you, or to be a true Bogowski. And you are my family no matter what. What about the credo? I'll never be able to memorize that thing. Oh, <laughs> me neither. That's why I always keep a copy in my pocket. Wow. Your dress has pockets? Of course. I may be less rough around the edges than I used to be, but I still like to feel a little comfortable. <laughs> and, and above, above all, all, being true, true to oneself, oneself is the Bogowski way. Come on, get your groove on, Eddie. I suppose. <laughs> Sir Harry, may I have this dance? <laughs> Is this cutting a rug, as they say? I had people call me big because I thought a fancy name like Bella only fit my fancy grandmother. So, from now on, call me Bella Bogowski. Mind shrinking this for me? Tiny power! <sighs> or Bella for short. Bella, I like it. And more importantly, you like it. Pleased to make your acquaintance. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs>